another video in the Intro to Music Theory course. I'm your instructor, Cody Wyman. In this uh, video, we're going to talk about introduction to compound time. Compound time is basically um, groups of three or more that are macro, what are called macro beats. And these macro beats have micro beats or subdivisions within them. So what you'll see is you'll see like in 6-8 there are two dotted quarters and each dotted quarter is made up of three eighth notes. And the eighth note unit in 6-8 time is actually the micro beat or the subdivision that makes up this compound time signature. So what you do, you can have groups of three, two groups of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, or you can have groups of uh, two dotted quarter notes that would equal the sets of three eighth notes. Um, so that is basically what the compound time basically is. Uh, there's also nine eight, which would have you have this where you would have different you'd have three of those macro beats which are the dotted quarter note and those would actually equal three eighth notes each dotted quarter note so you would basically have this You basically would have this. You'd have these quarter note right here, this, and within each of these you'd have Little drop down, and it would have three of these. I'm not drawing them very well, but bear with me. Here's that, and that. And then you'd have another subdivision which is this. So you'd have these three macro beats, which is this, and then you'd have, here's the 9-8 time signature. Another example would be if I were to go into Finale real quick and show you. You'd have the 9-8 time signature. The eighth note is the beat or the unit that gets the count. So 1, 2, 3. You'd be 1, 2, 3. And then 4, 5, 6 for the next one. And then 7, 8, 9 for the third one. So it would be 3 macro beats plus 9 microbeats in each macrobeat. So or you'd have nine macrobeats total and that would total uh, the whole nine eight time signature. So then if you go to finale, if I go to finale real quick, well, I could show you some examples of how everything is broken up into thirds. So in 6-8, it's broken up into thirds, two-thirds. In 9 it's broken up into three sets of three each. So that's basically com the compound time is 6-8-9-8. Other more uncommon compound time signatures have to do with 5-8-7-8-12-8. is basically 4-4, four, four, but instead of the quarter note being the 
macro beat or the um, beat that is counted or the note that gets the beat being the quarter note you have the eighth note still being the beat that gets the or the unit that gets the beat but you have the dotted quarter note taking place of the quarter and you would have four dotted quarter notes with three eighth notes in the subdivision so basically what that means is you've got three you've got four sets of three four times three is twelve therefore you have a twelve eight and it's usually kind of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and it's got this it's still got the swinging sort of triplet sort of feel but in more of a four four fashion it's kind of interesting that how that works out so now we're going to go over to finale I'm just going to do a default for this one. And we're going to take a look at each of those 6, 8, 9, 8, and 12, 8. And then possibly we'll look at 5, 8, and 4, 8, which are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And then 7, 8 is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. They're broken up into composites, which are basically um, breakdowns of how the subdivisions are shown in 5.8 or 7.8. So here we are in Finale. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put that up here is my Finale uh, worksheet, my default document for this explanation to go further. You'll see I have some time signatures here, and they all have macro beats that contain micro beats within them, which is all part of this compound complex time signature kind of deal. What you'll see first is 6 8, and you'll notice when I had this up, you see how in the time signature dialog box in Finale it has the two quarter, the two dotted quarters. In the picture, you don't see any of the three set or the three eighth notes. In if you're using the macro beat of two dotted quarters, which equal the equivalent of six eighth notes, you will see just these macro beats that are signposts one, two, three, four, five, six, and on one and four, uh, the macro beat changes. But if you were to put the eighth note as the beat that you wanted the tempo to be or wanted the, the meter or the rhythm, rhythmic change to be, you could have it as six eight with six eighth notes shown in the picture, which are basically two groups of three. So you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six for six eight. So we can have something like this, since it's already up. You can have something like that with the three um, micro beats per macro beat, three eighth notes per dotted quarter. And then the next measure you could put it as dotted quarter, dotted quarter. That would equal the same thing as these two sets of three eighth notes each. And this would be one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six for the first one. So it would be one, two, three, and then over here, four, five, six. You can also have it be like this, one, two, three, together, 
four, five, six together like that. So that's how the macrobeat and microbeat subdivision all work in six eight. If you were to go to nine eight, a minute. you would have three of these sets of three eighth notes. So I'm going to have to move this and move these over. So then you would have nine eight. You'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine, rather. And then in the next one, you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? Or you can have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alternating quarter notes with half notes. So that would basically be. 9 8 would be the equivalent of basically a 3 4 because there's three dotted quarters in the space that would normally be th three quarters and three four because you've got each dotted quarter note equaling three eighth notes each. And the eighth note is the macro beat and it's also the beat that is counted. And the mm, the uh, macro beat which is the dotted quarter is the big beat that isn't counted but has the counted beats within it so you've got all of these different possibilities this is subdivided into three this is subdivided into three but the macro subdivision or the macro division is two here in six eight three here in nine eight and in twelve eight it's four for the macro beat four for the sub for the the big division not the subdivision so what you would normally have you would either have this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve or you would have one, two, three, four, but you would still count each dotted quarter as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Be like one, a two, a three, a four, kind of like that. So you would subdivide it out so it would all equal. Um, 12 eighth notes or four dotted quarters. In the case of five eight and seven eight, there's a composite in which the notes are counted differently. Let me show you. You can have three plus two or two plus three. And the way you would normally show that would be Going back to the beginning, you would actually make sure either group that you want to be beamed is beamed. So for instance, you would make sure that the if you're going three against two or you know three plus two, you would make sure the first three eighth notes are beamed together, followed by the next two eighth notes being beamed together. So you'd have one, two, three, one, two, and that would equal five eight. So let's finish that. Or you can have it two plus three. You can have it the first two eighth notes beamed together, followed by the next three beamed together. Doesn't matter, but it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, or one, two, three, one. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, rather, or one, two, one, two, three. So you'd have that. And then for seven, eight, what you would do is you would have one, two, three, one, two, one, two as, as the composite of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
or you would have one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So you can have one, two, three, one, two, one, two, or one, two, one, two, one, two, three. You can have it like that. And again, how we show that is beaming all of these together. The first three are beamed together, followed by the next two, followed by the next two. Or if you wanted two, two, and three, it could be first two beamed together, second two beamed together, and the next three, the last three beamed together. So that's kind of how you break those macro beats, micro beats, and composites down in compound time. There is, of course, more info that could be had or said on this. I will be finishing up this handout to put in the resources so that you can take advantage of it and study it for the quiz at the end of the section. And if you have any questions on this lecture, please feel free to consult the Q&A. If you need me to explain it in a different way, I can actually do an updated video at some point if that is requested in the course. Other than that, I will talk to you later. Take care.